Alright, <laughs> you want to be bargains, pot of bargain here. Most handsome bargain in all the winter webby thingies. And uh, so I had a cup from um Hey, look at this. <laughs> so he's on the Goldie. Uh flew in last night, got in the midnight fucking red eye, got a phone call, wouldn't mind doing some work. So what's going on, on is Bitcoin's gonna go for a run boys. So I just can do a quick cash grab and get some more Bitcoin. Anyway, we'll have a look what uh, service has got to offer, eh? Okay, no, trolley's at the airport. You kind of think two bucks. Oh, bargains, think again. Just to get your bag from here to over there. And you'd spend that much. They really do like ripping us off, don't they, Bogans? Alright, check this out, Bogans. Big turbo. Oh, man, that's so nice. Wow. Got to dial that in. Bit more boost. Nice. I want me one. Check the rear tire out on this bugger. Oh, what a ripper. Nice and low. Oh, I want me one. Well, I think I've just fallen in love again. You know what, I had an interesting chat with a brother the other day about Luminati, devil worshippers, and the price of Bitcoin, and also BlackRock. So, um, my point of view on all this is BlackRock doesn't want to pay 30 or 29 for a Bitcoin, so they're going to dump it and uh, make sure that they pick it up at around about 20 maybe 22 and then it'll start skyrocketing so my honest opinion by the end of the year we're going to hit an all-time high it will double possibly triple and uh, BlackRock's going to cash in now we all know BlackRock own the world they own everything and um, they're part of the Illuminati so look it all up um, do your own research but there is um, also some uh, pretty fierce devil worshippers out there. And the guy that I thought was always an alien could be the man himself. So it looks like on the 15th, BlackRock will get the EFT for Bitcoin approved. We'll get a bit of volatility, um, you know, the week before, probably the week after. But uh, mark my words, look. Um, keep an eye on this space and keep an eye on the price of Bitcoin because course, come the 15th um, mate you might be able to pick up some cheap Bitcoin and, and have a little bit of a win uh, not financial advice mate take it as financial advice you'll end up with all your belongings in a coal shopping trolley uh, living from bus stop to bus stop just this bogan's point of view that's all and um, you know that's why we are uh, get onto this channel because um, it's pure entertainment. <laughs>
mess this place a little bit. It's quite nice. So it's Sea World down there. Pretty good area. Not really into the conspiracy theory of it all. But I do know crypto's getting manipulated by bigger fish than me. And um, I tell you what, once BlackRock gets hold of it all, whoa. Anyway, it's probably got to do with the American dollar as well. And um, I'm not convinced that it's going to be good. I can see war coming. I can see a bit of doom and gloom coming. Um, I'm dying to get out of Australia, to tell you the truth. I love Australia. Australia's my home. But it's going to the wayside at the moment. So I'm going to head back to Thailand, go back to my little slice of paradise, sit it out for another six months, and then uh, let's see what the world comes to then. Things we talk about over a couple of years, besides the footy and the cricket, bit of crypto. What's coming up? Keep an eye on that Bitcoin. But I'll be stacking up your Ethereum. Hmm, I roll. Be a good little contract that one. You know what, this is the one thing I do miss, Thailand had some waves, be a much better place, even though they're not great waves, they're still waves. That is one of the tallest freestanding cranes I've ever seen. Still going up. Mate, it'd be breezy up there for him and I reckon there'd be a pretty good sway on some of his lifts. That's huge. Now these are cool. What do we call it? Foil boards. Foil boards. Man, they're nice. It's the old Spidey. Yeah. You guys hoot out there on these. Yeah, when you get going, yeah. Bit hard to get up at first. Just depends on the conditions. If you're going to come down here for a swim, make sure you're swimming in between the flags, people because that's where the uh, surf lifesavers are watching out for people who might potentially drown and he's up there having a good old look lucky bugger these electric bikes are everywhere too all up and down here just grab an electric bike and uh, I don't know, scan, scan your card and drop it off where you want to drop it off they're everywhere. Full on nobbies. They are, baby. But they're full on nobbies, they're not road tyres. You know, they got something on here Christmas in July and air shows. But anyway, this is where all the beautiful people come to hang out. That's why I'm here. 
there we go. Christmas movies on the beach. In July. In July. Surfers Paradise. World famous aqueduct. Kind of expecting a hazy bug and sucking on a fish bowl up here, but mustn't be the mustn't be a BDO, eh? So it's yeah, no, yeah. Bugging out from um, Surface Paradise.